Thank you. Thank you. We are glad that you're all here for the Welcome Wagon Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas record release special. It's to celebrate all those holidays, but also to celebrate the release of our fourth album, Esther. But you do know that Halloween's over, right? I do know that, but I love Halloween. I love all the holidays. I love how they all... definitely do. Yeah. They <laughs> all interact with each other, and at Halloween, you're looking forward to Thanksgiving, and in Thanksgiving, you're... Yeah, still eating the candy, and so I wanted it to all be together. And the most important thing is to celebrate the release of our record. <laughs> now, if you're watching this at home, that means that you pre-bought the record, so you already have it. But maybe you could give an extra one to somebody that you know for Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up, and so I think all those things working together makes this a really special special. And that, Oh, hey, who could that be? Oh, Joe, hi! Trick or treat! Hey, oh, hey. man, it's our friend Joe Narciso. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's people here. I, I know, they're, they're here for our special, our Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas uh, record release special. I didn't know there was going to be people here. Well, that, that's okay. That's it, it's, you're, you're welcome, and they're all welcome, and uh, we're glad you're here. What brings you Party's here? Party's better now. I, I was, I was trick-or-treating. I wanted to... You're trick-or-treating. Get some um, candy. 
Uh, we don't we, have any we candy, just talked about but... it before you got here. It is past Halloween, and therefore we don't have any candy. We do have these. But I want my Halloween sweater. It looks great. It looks. It's kind of got an autumnal feel to it. I think it continues on to be a good sweater even past Halloween. Is it a vibe? This I, the kids I, think it is. Vibe. I think it is definitely a vibe. Yeah. Would you like some grapes or Cheez Its? Is this in place of the candy? Yeah, that's the, that's in place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, we don't have any candy. You don't have any Kit Kats or? Uh, no, no Kit Kats. No. no. no three Musketeers? <laughs> no, 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 none of those. Um, um, just I, guess, the, I, guess, I guess I'll have the. It's a little more healthy. Grapes and cheeses. Well, okay. you're here for Halloween, even though it's over, but we are actually, uh, we're releasing this record, and it's a record about home, and it's about where you came from, and where you're going to, and making a home where you, where you show up to. I, I wonder, wh where did you grow up? I grew up in Brooklyn. You did? Yeah. What was Halloween like where you were growing up in Brooklyn? I'm Italian, so I have a big, big, big family, you know, there was seven aunt and uncle pairs on my block. Seven aunt and uncle pairs all in one block? All in one block, yeah. It was Aunt Miriam and Uncle Charlie, and Aunt Anna and Uncle John, Uncle Ralph and Aunt Sylvia, Aunt Baba, Aunt Kate, Aunt Angie, I mean, it was, it was hardcore. It is hardcore. <laughs> well, did they give you candy when you went to uh, Turkish Street? And they were trying to do each other, they'd slip you a dollar or, or, or five bucks. And nice. It's pretty cool. That is really cool. cool. Seven aunt and uncle pairs, so you could probably go to just about any of those places and it was kind of like being at home. Yeah, and on holidays, you know, if there was one person, there'd be 35 people. Yeah. It was really great. Can you remember any costumes that you had growing up that were really I guess, I guess my favorite one is when I went as Steve Martin from the movie The Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> it was the white suit and this arrow through the head? No, no, no. It was when he was he, he had his pants around his ankles, he was <laughs> boxing shorts, a, a ratty old uh, yeah. uh, bathrobe, and he would carry around. He'd be like, all I need is this chair and this lamp and this remote control and this magazine. He would carry it everywhere. How so old I, were you when you dressed up like him? I think I was... 18 or 19. Ah, that's commitment. It says, it says that's, a lot. Really, that's real commitment. Yeah, yeah. That's a man going into the theater. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look, we're going to play a couple songs from the new record. Do you want to stick around and listen to them? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Oh, great. Take a seat. Well, we'll, yeah, we'd love to have you. Thanks for the grapes and cheeses. Yeah. <laughs> the song we're going to play now is um, about a long trip that we took away from our home. And then we made a long trip back. And when we got back home, it was a little different, but maybe it was even a little bit better. The song is called Isaiah, California. Actually, there's Isaiah right there. <laughs>
Thank you very much for being here. Uh, we hope that everybody uh, feels welcome. Does anybody need anything? Maybe uh, anybody have a low glass uh, and it needs to be a higher glass or a more filled glass or a more robust plate of, uh, of, of cauliflower and cheese and... Charcuterie. Charcuterie. That's exactly it. Or if anybody wants any Cheez-Its, would you be willing to share? Or grapes. Or grapes. I was just Somebody wondering if someone was going to come. Oh, I no. did. <laughs> Hi, Anj. Hi. Hi. Come on in. It's our friend Anj Daniskas. Oh, my God. A Thanksgiving cake. Thank you so much. Oh, oh it's wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, You're welcome. Oh What's going on? Well, uh, <laughs> these people are all here because it's our... Uh, it's our Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Welcome Wagon record release show. And you? I hope I'm not interfering. Not at no. all. Ever since we've known Anj, she's been so generous and kind to us. She often brings her baked goods to us, and she also brings her heart to us. We're really grateful. And we'll have that at Thanksgiving, which is really Wonderful. great. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. The record that we are releasing is called Esther, and it's named after Monique's grandma. I wonder if you remember about your grandparents. Well, I do have a lot of stories of my grandparents, but they didn't speak English. Oh, my gosh. My father's parents were Slovak, okay? And when we used to go and visit, of course, kisses and hugs were always flowing, you know? <laughs> but she'd go back to the alley and bring me up a cat to play with. Oh. <laughs> she knew I loved animals, right? And she'd get a little saucer and milk. And I'd play with the cat while my parents were visiting the relatives. And where was that? It was in Elizabeth Port okay. in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. And um, my other grandmother, she was Polish, and she didn't want to have anything to do with the grandchildren, but I begged mm. her. I said, when she'd be making pierogies, can I help? And she laid a flat sheet out on her bed, and the kitchen was right next to her bedroom. So my job was to take the pierogi and place it on the sheet, and they would just dry out, mm -hmm. and then we'd be able to cook them, oh, you know? And then. My grandfather, he'd be walking around the house, just praying the Bible, you know, <laughs> walking around in, in, in Polish, you know, reciting the prayers. And my other grandfather, he'd always give me a stick of gum. Oh my God. And when I got home, I would say, Dad, I said, why does Grandpa always give me a stick of gum? Does he work in a gum factory? <laughs> there was a lot of grandchildren. My father came from a family of 10. Mm. And oh of course, gosh. there were no toys, so he gave out a stick oh. of gum. Thank you so much for telling us about that. We're actually going to play a song right now that's about the love of parents for their children. Do you want to stay here and listen to it? I'd love to if I'm not interfering. No, Can not interfering. Sure? It's yeah. better that you're here. It's oh. better. Yeah. Thank you Why so much. Why don't you much. come on over? Come on okay. over. You know Joe, right? Yeah. Hi, Joe. Hi, Ange. Hi. <laughs> 
Thank you. Oh, such I a think. nice invitation. Oh, well, it's such a gracious thing for you to come. My grandmother loved the Bible, too. She recorded herself reading the Bible, mm -hmm. and she would send me the audio tapes. Wow. So um, Hopefully I have... in English. Yes. It was in English. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So she, you can hear her on the album. Yeah. Actually, her little clippets of her um, reading scripture. So this song is about the love of parents for children, but it's really about God's love for us as a good parent. It's called Matthew 7, 7. Which one of you, if your daughter asks for bread, would ever think to give a stone or leave your little girl alone? God gives you bread.
like years, the years like hours. This morning was a dream so long ago. I've never asked you how it feels to have a broken heart. I've never asked, I know you know. for each one of you. Each one of you are very special people, really unique and lovely you. people. We love you. Thank you so and, much. And uh, we think this is wonder a wonderful oh, night. Wait, maybe we could play one more song. Well. I, oh, wait, wait, one second. <laughs> Noma. Hey. Oh, it's our friend Noma. Oh, how are you? Good, how are you? Come on in. I'm well. Thank you. Oh my Hi, gosh, Noma. I'm glad. Hi. Do I have a surprise no, for you? No, yes. are you serious? This is I, for you. I think I know what this is. Wait, are, are these people here for your special? Oh. Yeah, they're yes, here for our special. Yes. See, she knew. Oh wow. She understood. Oh, that's great. You got a full house. Yeah, it is a very full house, yeah. Thank you. It's, it's much better now that you're here though. But open it up and see what it is. This is your Christmas present. What? Peter, did you arrange this for I Noma? Did. Oh my gosh. Oh. Noma, it's so beautiful. Noma Thank is a milliner. You. Yeah, let's try it on. Oh my gosh. Oh. Noma is a milliner and she makes hats and Monique has wanted one for a very long time. So this is her Christmas present. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's charming. Thank it's you so much. Oh, thank you. We'll put it here for safekeeping. That's good. Noma, Thank you. you were exactly right. This is the Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Welcome Wagon record release show, and that's a Christmas present. You made that hat, is that right? Yes, I did. How did you get into making hats? How did you become a milliner? I love accessories, <laughs> and I could never find the right accessory for my outfit. One day, I just decided to start making my own accessories. Along the way, I met up with a beautiful, beautiful lady who taught me the craft of making hats. Yeah. And it got me started, I got the hat bug, and I started <laughs> making hats all the time, yeah. practically. Yeah. It became a really serious hobby, and eventually it became a business because I'd make for myself, mm -hmm. and people would ask me, where did you get that hat? And eventually yeah. they, they would ask me, I'd make for friends, I'd make for family, and then it grew from there. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. The, oh, that's yeah. So Noma, it's, it's Christmas time now. I wonder what Christmas time was like when you were growing up. Where, where did you grow up? I'm originally from Zimbabwe, and Christmas was a big family affair. The extended family would be home, and we'd actually take it in turns to host. So in one particular year, it would be one family, and then it would move to the next family the following year. And all our brothers and sisters, we don't call them cousins, we call them brothers and sisters, would be gathered around, Everybody would bring what they were specialists in making mm -hmm. and would have a big feast. Yeah. After that, we would sit and talk stories. The folks would tell us about how it was back when. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we would just have a, a, an atmosphere of sharing and showing love to each other. Mm -hmm. You telling me about that makes me want to embrace some of that for our celebration this year. And I hope everybody who is even listening can, can receive some of that. I'm glad you told us about that. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah, thank you you so know, much. we should probably play a Christmas song. That's a great idea. Oh. Let's do it. Would you like to hear, if, if you want to take a seat, we're going to sure. play a Christmas song. Thank sure. you. Come sure. on over. And thank thank you. you so much for the hat. One, two.
city Has been blessed beyond compare For the gracious God of heaven Once became incarnate there Fairer than the sun Thanks very much. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you very much.